His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued three decrees for this year. Decree number 13 renewed opening, appointing Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa as the capital governor for a four year term. Decree 14 appointed Dr. Sheikh Sabah bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Secretary General of the Constitutional Court. And Decree number 15 stipulated subordination of the Tenders Technical Affairs Department to the Assistant Secretary General of the Tender Board. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed a wide range of visitors including members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and diplomats accredited to the Kingdom. The audience expressed their appreciation of His Royal Highness's keen engagement with citizens by maintaining commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended His Royal Highness's efforts to reinforce the Kingdom's sustainable development under the development program initiated by His Majesty the King, as well as the government's efforts to deliver significant improvements to public services. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, and Chairperson of the Advisory Board of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today a number of ministers and supporters of the Bahrain International Garden Show in the attendance of members of His Majesty the King's Award for Agricultural Development. Her Royal Highness noted the wide participation of farmers and the diversity of their products. Her Royal Highness affirmed His Majesty the King's support to Bahrain International Garden Show as well as the constant support of national institutions which participated in the successful hosting of the show. She also hailed the huge number of visitors this year and called on intensifying efforts to support the agricultural field in the Kingdom. Her Royal Highness expressed her thanks and appreciation to all governmental and private bodies as well as to educational and civil society institutions for their support to the show. She also hailed the remarkable efforts of participants for introducing visitors with the latest technologies in the agricultural field. Her Royal Highness noted the efforts of the Bahrain Garden Club regarding spreading awareness of the importance of agriculture in the Bahraini society. Her Royal Highness then honored the winners of His Majesty the King's Award for Agricultural Development.
On the sidelines of the 33rd session of the Arab Interior Minister's Council that is being held in Tunisia and chaired by the Kingdom of Bahrain, Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met with the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Honorary President of the Arab Interior Minister's Council, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The meeting discussed Arab security coordination and cooperation to face security challenges facing Arab countries in line with the deep rooted historic relations between the two countries and people. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah commended the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in combating terrorism and supporting Gulf and Arab security. He also noted the importance of reinforcing joint cooperation towards further cooperation to unify efforts so as to eliminate terrorism and extremism ideologies. The Interior Minister also met his Egyptian counterpart, Major General Mejdi Abdel Ghaffar, in which he highlighted the support of Bahrain to the security procedures taken by Egypt to fight terrorism and extremism to dry their sources. He highlighted that Egypt represents the strategic Arab depth through its supportive stance for Arab security and stability, asserting the support to Arab solidarity and the reinforcement of cooperation process in all fields, especially security. The Egyptian Interior Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's supportive stances to measures taken by Egypt to protect its security and stability and fight all types of terrorism out of the existing brotherly ties. The meeting discussed development of security cooperation and joint work. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also met with his Jordanian counterpart Salam Ahmad, in which he stressed the importance of ongoing security cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries to tackle regional issues. The Interior Minister hailed the strong brotherly ties between the two countries in the areas in the eras of His Majesty the King and his brother, His Majesty Abdullah II bin Al Hussein. The meeting discussed the development of security cooperation and coordination and topics of common interest. The Interior Minister also met his Tunisian counterpart, Mr. Al-Hadi Majdoub, in the presence of the General Secretary of the Arab Interior Minister's Council, Dr. Mohammed bin Ali Al-Koman. The meeting discussed his security cooperation and coordination and topics of common interest. UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, paid a visit to Bahrain's Ministry of Education Pavilion, participating in the 8th World Education Forum and the World Expo Hardware. His Highness was briefed by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, regarding the educational services provided by the Ministry to students in addition to the Kingdom's achievements in the educational field. The Education Minister expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed on his visit, highlighting the deep brotherly relations between the two countries and said that it was a great opportunity to show the achievements and progress of Bahrain in the educational field thanks to the support of the wise leadership.
very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,172.63 points, an increase of 1.94 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks, investments, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 66% of total shares. 46 transactions included a volume of 2,326,560 shares worth 153,925 BD.